What do people back in Dallas tell y'all when you say, tell y'all when, whenever you say you're going to Mexico? Like what's a typical response? A very good afternoon amigos from the hot, sunny, humid, sweaty, but beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Now our friends are in PV for the very first time. They've never been here before and today's video is gonna be a little different as uh, our, we're leaving it up to Brian and Juan to uh, share their thoughts on Mexico, what it's like to travel around Mexico, what it's like to be in PV for the very first time. So without further ado, our patrons of the day, Juan and Brian. All right, we finished a delicious meal of mole. Well, did you guys get mole? Emoladas and you? sopas. Sopas. The non mole meal, but it was delicious. <laughs> mole de bolita never disappoints. Now, we wanted to ask you guys a few questions because you guys watch our videos and you see our faces every day. You hear enough of us. <laughs> yeah, you guys hear plenty of our thoughts about Mexico, our obsession with Vallarta, so we wanted you guys to hear it from people other than ours. <laughs> Ourselves. Other, ourselves. <laughs> now the first question is, what made you guys decide to travel Mexico from the very beginning? What did you first Google search or what started? What inspired why Mexico yeah, instead, why of... Mexico instead of... You're from Guatemala, uh -huh. so why Mexico? Well part of it was we did a search and it came up with your videos. Uh oh. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> the, other, not paying us to say that. the other thing is we had an opportunity to use a timeshare that okay. would be in, in Guanajuato. That was the first place that we went to. So Guanajuato is the first place you visited in Mexico. Not a bad place to start. And I know you guys told us at dinner, but let them know where all have you been to in Mexico? <laughs> well, the first time we came to uh, Guanajuato and San Miguel, the Allende. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Was last year. And then Querétaro. this year we went to Querétaro, we've been to Oaxaca, uh -huh. and this is our third time in Mexico this year to Puerto Vallarta. Wow. And what's been your You should start a YouTube place? channel, you know? You should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> what's been your favorite place in Mexico so far? I think Oaxaca. And Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Do you think so? I think Oaxaca. Oaxaca, because of the history, uh -huh. uh, there were certain things about Querétaro that I really liked. Okay. The, people, uh -huh. and, and the people were very, very friendly, and, and uh, Oaxaca was just the, the, also the history, but also learning about the culture mm -hmm. and the, the traditions and the traditions of that area of Mexico that we never knew where corn came from. Ah, uh, yeah. All of those kind of they kind of sound like us. Like they have a favorite for every different specific category. Like, exactly. I'm on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I guess every town that we've been to has a charm mm -hmm. on itself. Like certain places have certain foods and certain uh -huh. architecture. Yeah. Certain the people. The people are nice everywhere. Yeah. yeah. They're so welcoming. So nice. What what do people you you guys live in Dallas? Shout out, we're from Dallas as well. What do people back in Dallas tell y'all when you say tell y'all when whenever you say you're going to Mexico? Like, what's a typical response? The first thing that everybody asks is like, "Are you afraid?" They <laughs> uh, always say no. Yeah. There's places in Dallas I wouldn't go after nine o'clock. Right. Yeah. No kidding. So I guess you're vulnerable when anywhere you go, but mm. you just have to be aware of where uh -huh. you are. Yeah. Um, I've been more unsafe in Italy than yeah. been in, yeah. in, in Mexico. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. So, I live 15 years on the border. We go to Matamoros yeah. and go to dinner yeah. and, and have a good time back yeah. when you can cross the border very easily. easily. Uh -huh. And that was my introduction to Mexico. Okay. Was Matamoros yeah. and Juarez and, and uh, those border towns. Yeah. And oh, being open to a whole new world that is Mexico that is not the border towns. Yeah. It's not metaphors. Yeah. That, those kind of areas. Colonial, Central Mexico, Colonial, the history, yeah, traditions. Absolutely, absolutely. All and, right. And hear the Macarena in the background. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is the Macarena Mexican though? No, Spanish. Yeah. That's what I was. Okay. Last question. What has surprised you both about Mexico the most? Is there one or a couple things that have stood out? I think how friendly the people are, mm -hmm. how the, their willingness to teach you if mm -hmm. you don't know about certain things about yeah. food or, or where to go. Mm -hmm. um, 
how your money can go. <laughs> yeah. Far. Yeah. Yeah. The co lower cost of living. I like that a lot. Yeah. Part of what surprised me is having been a native Texan, and you learn everything about Texas history and about mm -hmm. Mexico and how yeah. Mexico and Texas, of course, are the same place. Yeah. How tied everywhere we go, mm -hmm. how tied Mexico is to Yeah, Texas. that's a really good point. Yeah. Our cultures are way more aligned than we in the United States want to yeah. exactly. Admit. Yeah. We said last question, but Sorry. I lied. Or Hillary lied. <laughs> What's the best food you've eaten in Mexico? Oh, that's hard. Now you know how we feel every day. Or like, what are a few that uh, stick out to you? Just okay. moles in Oaxaca uh -huh. were really awesome. Uh, steak in Querétaro. Uh huh. Pork shank in Querétaro. Oh, okay. In the, right okay. In the, seems right like in the, in the square there, yeah. okay. uh, Hardy, right next okay. to Hardy. Um, and, and market food. Okay, food in the market. Yeah. Perfect. All right, you guys were able to hear it from Brian and Juan, other than our faces, our voices, so hopefully it adds a little bit of validity to uh, why we love Mexico. Thank you guys. Now you guys always hear our perspective on food, places, people, beautiful parts around Mexico. So we thought it was especially important today to be able to share our friends' perspective and even more of the special to us because um, as we've experienced Mexico and shared our experiences with you guys, it warms our hearts. I don't know a better, less cheesy way to say. Uh, when our patrons and our friends uh, sort of follow in our footsteps in terms of exploring Mexico and trying new foods and really falling in love with the people and places all across Mexico. So um, we really appreciate Brian and Juan taking the time to have dinner with us, to do this interview with us. And uh, if you guys would like to be a sponsor of the day, you can head on over to patreon.com slash kinetickinnons. I think that's all we have for you guys today. Until next time, have less, do more, be more.